This is my latest book. It's called The School of Life and Emotional Education, and it's 10 years of work at this organization called The School of Life, which is committed to emotional well-being, fulfillment, and self-knowledge. And this is really an anthology of our best writings, our best ideas, and it's really an indispensable guide to how to lead an ever so slightly less miserable and a lot more fulfilled existence in this brief and confusing planet. I'm here in the Gower Street branch of Waterstones, which is just down the road from um, the School of Life. And I've come here to show you three books that really influenced, have influenced the way in which we do our work. And the first of these is by a wonderful historian called Theodore Zeldin, and it's called An Intimate History of Humanity. And what it does is to look at a whole range of emotional problems through their history. So history of fear, anger, shyness, low self-esteem, things that we associate perhaps with our own times, but actually they always have a history. And that's an approach that we at the School of Life are very interested in. How do you use, broadly speaking, culture um, to illuminate the problems of everyday life? So this is a, a key text for us. It's also beautifully written, elegantly written, and that's important too, because if you're trying to change somebody's life, make sure you do it in a way that is readable. So now we're up in the philosophy section, and here's a wonderful book that I love very much. It's by a Scottish philosopher called John Armstrong, and it's called The Conditions of Love. And part of the reason why I love it is that relationships are one of the trickiest aspects of any life. And um, here, John Armstrong, in a tone that's humane, broad, generous, sympathetic, takes us through some of the dilemmas of love. And it, it's a very unfrightening book. We're often scared in love and relationships, so all the sort of weird and intense feelings that we experience. And um, this is a kind of perfect, uh, humane and sane guide to the storms and, and inner stresses that relationships put us through. And it's a, it's a book that we love very much at the School of Life and have been very influenced by. We've um, we frankly copied this wonderful book in many of its aspects. The School of Life is broadly an organisation that is built on a foundation of psychotherapy and psychoanalysis. And the guy that we like most of all is one of Britain's greatest heroes. The hero of the 20th century in Britain, I believe, is this man, D.W. Winnicott. He was a pioneer of child psychoanalysis and basically made the treatment of children, the kindly treatment of children, much more likely and possible. He did away with the English stiff upper lip. He, he released parents to love their children as they should. And this is a beautiful book called Home is Where We Start From. And it's really a guide to how to bring up a child. And there's nothing really more important. So many of our problems come down to the fact that our childhoods didn't go right. And if something in them did go right, some of the credit should go to Winnicott and his beautiful ideas. And um, they are very much at the heart of what we teach and practice at the School of Life.